Hey everyone, all right, welcome to the desktop. I've already loaded up the three programs here, Speci, Slim Drivers, and Driver Booster 2. Let's take a look at Speci real quick. It's so it'll automatically scan when you load it up. Um, so here's my graphics, man. It's got everything about the monitor, um, everything about the graphics card, ATI, Radeon, HD, 320 hundred, um, storage, optical drives, audio. Even give you the temperatures and everything. CPU, you can see, running a little hot right now, right? So if you can't find drivers with these other two programs, you can find out their names and serial numbers and stuff and search them out on Google or get into the forums and learn about that. Um, here is Slim Drivers. And when it loads up, it's already got a scan. You hit the button that says scan. Obviously, I already did that um, just to save some time here. And so here are the updates here you go and you can ignore some and like I said in the full version you can check them off but not in the free version and then you can click download update do you want to create a restore always do that um, I'm not going to install this yet but I just want to show you so it'll back up your stuff and then it, what it'll do is download the new drivers I'll kind of show you that step as you can see it's going to download that pretty quickly. It automatically connects to the cloud and all that good lovable stuff. And we just give it a second here. And boom, see it's already starting the install for you so you don't have to go dig into your things and everything. It might have asked, stop that. Your antivirus, you're going to want to shut it off. As you can see, I wanted to show you that. So you can disable your antivirus while you're doing this so it doesn't think that something's trying to install on there. And what it'll do is you can go through, you click install, and it brings you through the install shield. Um, so let's take a look at driver booster. So I click the scan. It automatically scans actually when you load it up. It'll show you what's up to date over here. It'll show you what's outdated here and by how outdated it is. And you can either individually update them. You can roll back drivers, which is really good if things go wrong. Or, like I really love, they got the checkbox right over here. And boom, update now. Maybe it'll just disable your security software. Same thing. And see, it's going to automatically start downloading the drivers now it downloads a little slow if you get the pro version it'll accelerate the download but the free version works great and because it automatically installs them you know you can just do this before you go to bed or before you go into work and you'll be fine you know what i really like too is they have the silent installation if you want to work while it's going on and automatically reboot pc or automatically shut down pc so if you do it before you go to bed or work check that box off right there now Normally, I would show you how to go into the settings and keep these from auto-updating. As you can see, they're running down here, and they'll come in, and they'll automatically check for updates, and they'll slow down your computer. So what you want to do is install them, update your drivers, and then uninstall them. And I've got another video showing this IOBit uninstaller where I'm going to use this to uninstall these, and you'll see how... Um, not only will you get rid of them, but it'll get rid of the extra stuff that they leave behind on the hard drive. Um, and then maybe a year later or six months later, download them again, install them, run them, and then uninstall them. You really don't need to be checking for drivers like every two weeks. It's always like maybe quarterly at the most. Semi-annually is how I kind of do it. So there you have it, man. There's your three programs, especially to dig into your computer, Slim Drivers, and driver booster man always get the latest version of the drivers between the two of these and you'll be up to date and running smooth in no time thanks for watching uh please share the video like all that good stuff and i'll see you again soon